Today we are going to look at the pieces page. To get to the pieces page, I'm going to click my bookmarked piece search button. This is the pieces page and you can manage all of your pieces from this one central location. You can search your pieces in the search bar by tracking number, recipient, custom fields, or job ID. You can also set the date range to see pieces from a particular time frame. If you want to get more specific in your search, you can come over to the Advanced Search tab here. Here you can search by all of these fields, and you can use the filter to search for only delivered pieces or only return to sender pieces. Or if you want to search for everything except delivered pieces, you would say status does not equal delivered. You can also search by which pieces have proof of deliveries and which do not. Each row on this grid represents a piece, and each column represents piece information. So you can view the piece's tracking number under the tracking number column, as well as the extra services. For example, CM and RR, or certified mail and electronic return receipt. You can view the recipient address here, and the status of your piece here, which again, you can search by in your advanced search. You can view your custom fields here, and if your piece is delivered, you will have the option of filling in the received by text. This value represents the individual who signed for the mail piece. If the USPS does not provide this value, it can be manually entered here. You can configure the received by data to be displayed along the piece information on the 3877 if needed for your records. These columns will show you the user profile, location and department if applicable, job ID, and the created date. If you click on the job ID link here, you will be taken to the jobs page where you will see more information about the job that contains this piece. From here you can see other pieces in the job if there are more pieces. You can see additional job details, custom fields, that you can add to the 3877, and reports and postal service forms pertaining to the job, including the 3877 right here. If I click on that real quick, I can show you that this is where the received by information I mentioned earlier can be populated. I have it configured so that information displays on here, but it can also be configured to not display on the 3877 and then you would not see received by right here. Going back, if we click job filter right here, we will be able to see all of the jobs on the jobs page instead of just the one that contains our piece. If we click pieces right here, it will take us to the pieces page, but with a filter that only allows us to see pieces pertaining to the job that we were just viewing. We can clear that filter right here to again see all of the pieces on the pieces page. For pieces that haven't yet been delivered, you can view tracking information here to track your piece. You can also view your banner page, piece info report, and an acceptance scan when your piece has been scanned at the post office. You can also enable or disable your proof of delivery or proof of acceptance emails. If your piece has already been delivered, then you will also be able to view the proof of delivery as soon as it has been processed from the USPS. If you have configured additional data to display on your proof of delivery in company settings, you can view an enhanced POD that you customized. If you need to download all of the information on this page, then you can export this grid to a CSV file right here. This will export all pieces in this date range. So for example, if there are only 20 displayed on this page, but it is 20 out of a thousand, then all 1,000 pieces will be downloaded to the CSV file. 
If you find you need to download a lot of pieces and there's a limit here, reach out to support and we can help you out. And that is the pieces page, how it functions, and how it helps you to complete your daily tasks as efficiently as possible.